What up everyone, Reege here for Animal Wire, and if you were in the market for some badass jellyfish, then feast your eyes on this gangly fella. Cause how often do you get a venture down into the icy waters of the deep sea to witness the one and only member of the genus Stygiomedusa? It's a behemoth of a jellyfish and is certainly one of the largest if not the largest invertebrate predators floating around these parts. You can check out the drilling machinery here to really get a perspective on its size. That cylindrical riser is 1.3 meters across, meaning the jelly's umbrella-shaped bell has about a meter diameter and its oral arms can extend to 6 meters in length. But no tentacles on this bad boy, just four humongous flattened lobes. And the manner in which they seem to adhere to all this underwater equipment suggests they work like sticky traps to capture small crustaceans, other gelatinous animals, and even those organic particles suspended in the water. But rest assured, when they get out from under all this metal rubbish and into more open water, those excessive folds and flaps look a lot less cumbersome, or at the very least serve an adaptive function in their heightened state. And that's something that this little fish symbiote can get behind cause he's like what Robin is to Batman and can be found sidekicking along with his superhero friend through the dark abyss. Although the exact nature of their relationship isn't fully understood, the fish probably takes advantage of some sort of protection while also feeding on scraps of food left behind. And where the Medusa benefits, it still isn't really known, but I'm sure his little buddy works in mysterious ways. Now, before we get out of here, a huge thanks has got to go out to Dr. Mark Benfield with The Serpent Project. This isn't the first time he's shared one of his crazy findings with us, and he's an absolute rock star when it comes to deep sea ecology. So with that being said, yo dude, sweet creature.